Hello friends, welcome back to Mom's Nest. In today's video, I am going to attempt to answer all the questions that I have been getting regarding the Olympiads. Yes, you heard it right, the Olympiads. So I generally get a lot of questions like what is the registration process? What are the resources that we can use? Which books to buy? And how to prepare, how to plan the studies for children so that they can excel at these Olympiads. So I decided to make a thorough video regarding this topic. So for the ease of access and the thorough knowledge, I am going to make this video into two parts. This part is going to be all about the registration process, which site to visit and I am going to take you through the step by step process of registering your child for these Olympiads. And the second topic I am going to cover is the resources part, which books we are using, which resources we are using to prepare. In the next part of this video, which is going to be the next video itself is all about how to plan the studies, how we can plan the studies and the curriculum so that the child can excel in these Olympiads. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so for the registration process, we are going to visit this uh, website called SOF World. It is Science Olympiad Foundation. Uh, they are the organization that are that conduct Olympiad exams at the national level and they conduct uh, exams for first to twelfth grade across around seven subjects. So this is their landing page and you will get all the information on this landing page itself. For example, this is for online registration for schools and students. This is these are the guidelines for the Olympia 2021. All the results can be checked here. The exam schedule can be checked here, the dates and everything. These are other tabs that you can check. So let's first go to the registration place. Now you will get three tabs here. Registration by school registration by student and registration forms for school so if you're you first need to check with your kids school whether they are registered with SOF or not in case they are registered with SOF they will be conducting the uh, they will be registry registering your child for the Olympiad on their own you do not need to worry about it but in case they are not registered you need to recommend the school to SOF but for now, we need to register individually and we will click on registration by students. <laughs> this is where we will land. This is the form for registration. Now, in case your child's school is not registered, with SOF then you will be requiring to enter this code here AB9999 this is for all those people who are registering individually you need to mention all the details of the school your child is studying in the name the complete address phone number and all these details you need to get and enter for the school of your child now when we go below there are student details the name, the class, the gender. Now coming to mobile phone and uh, I will suggest use your own number here because in that case you will be able to get all the information that will be sent through SOF. The student email ID here also you need to enter your email ID as a parent. This is the address. Now uh, SOF is uh, tying up with MTG for the resources and books. So if you are going to buy directly some books here itself, then you need to give a mention, give your uh, complete address details here. Now there is country, state, city, pin code, all these details need to be filled by you. Now coming down, down, down. Now, if you are choosing to buy some books from the MTG, 
I will take you through the MPG website separately, but in case you are planning to buy, you can add them here itself. And the Olympiad fee will be calculated on that basis. Only registration charges is 150 per child per subject. So if you are attempting uh, to sit in two or more than two, then it will keep on multiplying. So for example, we have registered Adit for uh, English Olympiad and Maths Olympiad. So we have paid around 300 rupees for registration. Now here is the physical books part or ebooks part that I will let you know separately. Here is the total. Once you submit, you will be taken to the payment gateway and you need to make the payment and the registration process is as smooth as this. Uh, once you are done with registration, you will get a link, a confirmation link and confirmation message in your email ID. You can check it out. The dates are also mentioned here. Like we checked on the first page. Here is the details mentioned for the exams. Now the guidelines you can check. These are all the exams scheduled. You will be provided with, the, as you can see, there are three dates that are mentioned here. The date for your child will be provided by SOF. You will be intimated regarding that through email or messages. Also, the registration process remains open till 15 days before the exam schedule of that particular subject. For example, if for say general knowledge Olympiad, the exam first schedule is on 16th of Saturday, 16th of October. So 15 days before that, that is somewhere around 1st of October, the registration which will close for this particular subject. So you still have a lot of time to register. So please check it out and register your child. In the next segment, I will take you through the website of MTG and I'll tell you all about the resources. Okay, so for resources, we are going to visit this website called PCMB today. This website is being recommended by SOF itself. Uh, even after completing the registration process, you might be getting a discount coupon of almost 10% uh, from PCMB website. So uh, when you click the website, you will land on this page of MTG Books. Now, MTG provides a law, whole range of books for various kind of entrance exams and everything, but we are going to focus on the Olympiads. Now, these are all the categories of books that are available. So, we will check out for class two because uh, that is in class two. So, there are a whole range of books that are available. So, let's check this out. So these are all the books that are available plus the resources that we have on offer for Olympiads. You can check out the descriptions and pick the books as per your requirement. Um, there are five year question papers as well, which are into e format, which you can directly download from here. Then there are skill development classes, then again some question papers, Olympiad skill de development. Then there will be uh, some workbooks, and our favorites are these workbooks, these ones. So, plus these prep guides. So, these are the two resources that we are currently using. And uh, if you have seen my previous uh, video regarding the Olympiad books, you know that I had bought a lot of these books uh, in grade one for others, but that only overwhelms the child so uh, as per my recommendation i will recommend uh, to go with the books that are really necessary pick and choose very carefully uh, because there are a lot of online resources available as uh, a search so you can make use of those also too many books are only going to overwhelm the child because the the content is same it is just presented in different kind of formats so my favorite ones for the current one are these prep guides. 
and these Olympiad workbooks. I'm going to take up these in detail in my next part. So this is all for the resources. Uh, you can check out Amazon also. There are uh, a lot of publishers that have come up with Olympiad books. So you can check out them also if somebody recommends and you want to go with them. But these are, I have found them sufficient enough for the preparation. Uh, if the child is in a higher uh, classes, then you may want to go for uh, varied resources. So you can check out Amazon as well. So this is all for this video. I hope you, uh, this information will be useful for you. In case you still have any question, feel free to drop it in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you. Uh, in case you have found out some amazing resources for these Olympiad preparations, do let us know in the comments as well because that will help us as well as other parents in the preparation process. Um, do watch out for our next video where I will be sharing uh, the complete process, how we break down our curriculum, how do we plan the studies along with the school curriculum so that we can give our 100% in the upcoming Olympiads which are just around the corner coming in October and November. So till the next video, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.